we were made to flourish in a time like this. And if uh, people can, if we can learn to lean into and receive the power and the strength and the presence of the Holy Spirit, that's going to be a contagious overflow. Yes. That's going to be a natural overflow yeah. uh, in, into, the, into the world. Yeah. And I believe that's what the, the Spirit of Christ is, is, is longing to do. You personally, earlier, talked about the Holy Spirit being a part and awakening you in a time of anxiety. If you would take us to that moment and explain, because I know there's a lot of people that want to hear exactly what, it, what happened because we have introduced the person of the Holy Spirit today in a way that maybe some have never heard. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that opportunity. You, you know, the initial reference to the Holy Spirit is in the book of Genesis, in the first chapter, in the second verse, <laughs> the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God mm. was hovering over the face of the waters. Mm. And so before we uh, have any reference to God as Father or God as Jesus, we see God as Spirit. Mm. And, and the Spirit was present when the earth was without form and void and dark. Mm -hmm. uh, that to me is a pretty good description of chaos mm -hmm. and without form. Maybe, uh, mm -hmm. My imagination imagines, you know, volcanic eruptions and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> waters just sloshing around the globe and just, it's kind of an angry mm -hmm. planet. It was without void, without form. It was void. It was dark. There was no light. And so uh, we typically go quickly into then God bringing order out of this chaos. And, and well, we should, but let's not skip the, the, that reference to the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. This is a great word. It appears also in the book of Deuteronomy uh, when, when scripture describes God's covenant with the children of Israel. And he uh, says, he depicts himself like an eagle over uh, a nest of eaglets. I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct me, please, people who know more <laughs> than I do. But you can just kind of envision that uh, nest full of baby eagles mm -hmm. and they're squawking, they're hungry, their mouths are open, they're bouncing, you know, they're, they're brand new. And then here comes the eagle and hovers. God says, I will hover over you like an eagle over a nest. Mm -hmm. and, and here the Holy Spirit is hovering over the face of the deep as if to say before there could be creation, there had to be calming there had to be a calming presence. Mm -hmm. And so the promise of the Holy Spirit is to hover, to, to calm, to settle things down. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that in this anxiety-ridden world in which topics of anxiety are on every, in every book and every page of every conversation, uh, we, we need to begin by simply asking the Holy Spirit to do what he is so longing to do, and that is hover, mm -hmm. hover over us. So how do we do this? On the drive from the airport to here, I call my wife. I always do, mm -hmm. as, as I, I love to and as I should. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, I woke up feeling anxious. I said, really? She said, yeah, I'm just troubled. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I'm sorry. She said, so I walked around the house inviting God into the house. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, my wife, she's, mm -hmm. she's a delight. We both married out of our league, didn't we? <laughs> we did. And, uh, and, and I think what she was saying is she invited the Holy Spirit. To, she said, I went into every bedroom. I went into the entryway. I went to the back door. I went to the windows. I just prayed for the Holy Spirit to bring peace into our house. Uh, boy, I can't tell you how much that means to me as a husband. Sure. 
you know, knowing that I have a wife. And I would say, most wives would say, I, I would love to have a husband who responds to stress in the same way. But what if we all did that? Mm. You know, what if, uh, what if, what if in, in DC, you know, wow. as, as, as the Congress is meeting, uh, mm. what if senators, and I know some do, and I'm yeah. thankful that they do, what if even more said, in the midst of all this chaos, could we take just a moment and mm -hmm. let's all, can you imagine this yeah, in the Senate right. chambers, all 50 senators saying, let's receive the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Wouldn't that be something? May yeah. we pray toward that. Thank day. you, Lord. Not where one uh, opinion is hijacking other people's opinions, but there's a sense of unity. Yeah. Number one, that we're desperate. We can't solve this anymore. We give up. But Number two, we're not going to allow anxiety to pull us under anymore. Mm -hmm. And we believe in a mighty God, a strong God who cares for us, and He can get us through this. Lord, Holy Spirit, come, come, and 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 have Your way with us. Back to, you know, Jesus in the upper room. Receive the Holy Spirit. So I think anxiety uh, mm -hmm. can really we can begin dealing with the anxiety, if we would simply acknowledge, number one, that we have a God who loves us, but we have, number two, a Holy Spirit who is willing to do right now what He did even back Thank in you, creation. He will hover over your life. Thank you, Lord. He will hover over your life. You know, when, when the Holy Spirit came to Jesus at baptism, the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove in the form of a dove. Mm -hmm. In fact, Luke's gospel says the Holy Spirit came as a dove. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. When I think of a dove, I think of the most calming bird, <laughs> you know. Uh, you, you think of a powerful bird, you think of a hawk, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you think of a beautiful bird, you might think of a hummingbird or a mockingbird or a lark. But you think of a, of a calming bird. Don't you think of a dove? Mm -hmm. You know, a dove has a maternal, presence. I, I know many people who like to refer to the mother spirit of the Holy Spirit. And I am completely at peace with that because we need a maternal presence. Sometimes we need a paternal presence. We need the heavenly father. And sometimes we need the, the salvation presence of our Savior who died on the cross for our sins. But don't we also need the maternal presence, the motherly calm of the Holy Spirit. And I'm here to tell you, the Holy Spirit is here. Help is here. Just turn to the Spirit of God. Welcome Him. Invite Him into your world. Thank and you not Lord. just once. Just keep doing it all day. Thank you, Lord. Let your prayer all day be, come Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Come Holy Spirit. All day long. Live in the Spirit. I think the Apostle Paul would say to those who want to receive the Spirit, I think he would just say, pray in the Spirit. Pray, pray without ceasing. Always be inviting the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. into every situation and every circumstance. And Lord willing, that'll result not just in personal revival, but in global revival. Amen. Pray for Amen. people that just seal this word, that yeah. this would be kind of um, <laughs> absorbed yeah. uh, into, their, into their lives. Thank you, thank you. If, if this is a, if you sense a quickening of the Holy Spirit in your life today, number one, I, I would just first say, have you said yes to Jesus? He's your savior. If you have not say yes to him, he died on the cross for your sins and mine so that we then can receive his presence, the Holy Spirit, and we become the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so Lord God, would you please those who are saying yes to Jesus and those who are saying yes to you as the living presence, the Spirit of God in their lives. Would you, mm. as Matt said, seal this word, seal this word. Do not let the devil come in and steal this seed, but let this person say, oh, I've got a new chapter. I've got a new season of life. And from now on, I'm going to walk in, in harmony, in step with the Spirit of Christ. I, receive this. I accept this. I'm excited about it. And I bless you in Jesus name. Amen. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world.
Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.